Welcome to my latest update. As you can see, this new circuit box that I have designed, I even stored my old VLF receiver in it with a few modifications to match that of the other one, which picks up sounds you wouldn't believe it. Now, for a start, I've got the microwave on a fan motor core here. It's only two terminals, not three. It was a free terminal one I used on the other one that I can bypass it and run it straight to the audio amp input. So I'm the sorts of signals will go there and combine with the whatever sorted coming through this two-stage VLF receiver to that. Now, I've got the three battery trays here, one for the audio, two for the two-stage VLF receiver, and that's the MPF-102 version, and I've got a separate battery tray here for the preamplifier at the front. So the preamplifier runs to the core here. Now, I'll change it later on for a free terminal core if we can get hold of another one. Then I can do the bypass straight to the input pin of the audio amplifier. So unfiltered signals go there and combine with what comes through here. So I get louder signal intensity. So anyhow, that's about all done. And there's the front panel there. The first switch is for the two-stage VLF receiver to switch it on. The second switch is for the preamplifier down here. And the third switch is the audio switch, the switch on the audio. That's basically it, isn't it? I've got to get a stick on feet for the bottom of that yet, the box. And what I might do is a nice blue around the sides here. And I might do machine grey or black front panel painted, spray painted. But anyway, that's all done in there. And that's the top edge that I had to put around it and put the screws in it. And these are the screws here. They fit perfectly in there once I pre-drilled it all in there. So anyhow, that's about it. So thank you for watching me last updates.